Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got five more super cool knives that you should definitely check out as soon as you get the chance. The only criteria for this series is that they are cool. There are inexpensive knives on this list, and there are also very expensive knives on this list, and not everything is available yet. Keep that in mind. I'll link everything down below so you guys can check out what is available right now if you want to. Uh, using those links does help my channel, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. I'm going to start off with one that is very cool, very inexpensive, and very available. I just got this in just the other day. I paid for this. Um, this is the Cold Steel Outdoorsman Light, which I'm going to be honest, I expected this thing to be absolute junk. Cold Steel does a great job. But this was a $28 fixed blade. I really did not expect any part of this to be nice. But to my surprise, the polish on it was good. The final edge bevel was good. This is polypropylene, which uh, has proven to be an incredibly durable material and a good material for uh, handle. And it's also tanged all the way through. The steel isn't the, anything uh, spectacular, German 4116, but it's fine. I mean, for 28 bucks, who cares? Made in Taiwan, seriously. This is ridiculously impressive for a fixed blade. $28. I can't... I mean, the only thing that really beats this is like Mora stuff, right? But my goodness. I mean, just for the polish alone, right? The blade is awesome. The factory edge is beautiful. It is razor sharp out of the box. You can obviously get it sharper if you want to. But man, the Outdoorsman Light, super impressive. I don't normally get excited about fixed blades, but... This thing is freaking awesome, and it looks cool. It just looks awesome. The guard on it's great. The ergonomics on this thing are great. The little texturing pattern here is awesome. I just really thought everything would be kind of crappy, and it isn't. Everything is just done really well. I like the little swedge they've done up here. I think the blade stock thickness is good. Beat the crap out of this thing, and you know what? If you break it, oh well. You're out $28. I'll link this thing down below. It is available literally everywhere, uh, but I think the link I have is for DLT trading. Moving on here, here's one that will be available very soon, and I think it's also very cool. This is the new Vosteed Grind. We have a new, um, their version of the Axis Lock. I'm going to tell you guys, the tension on this Axis Lock is great. It's not loosey-goosey or floppy or anything. There's actually quite a bit of tension there. Do the reverse flick, forward flick. We've got a nice fuller here. I like how this extends out and transitions into a swedge. It also has a near zero apex you can see there just barely the final cutting apex which was really interesting to me um, when i unboxed this you guys will see the unboxing actually in the future it's pre-recorded um, but uh, this is 154 cm razor sharp nearly zero uh zero grind out at the edge um, really good looking profile outside of that i mean it's pretty standard it's got a great pocket clip on it 75 bucks t8 hardware throughout fully ambidextrous and there is a mounting position on the other side for lefties vosti did a great job with this and it locks up completely and totally solid this is just at the threshold for what i consider to be a budget knife on this channel right at 75 dollars i think you can pre-order it on vosti's website but It'll probably be available on Amazon at some point. This is an absolutely excellent, barely budget knife, right? But very, very cool. And that's really all that's needed uh, as far as the criteria for this list. Moving on here to the next one, also a budget knife. And this one will be available, I believe, June of 2023. Um, this is the new Cuvist Invert. Which, Sorry, I didn't put it in the middle. Uh, this is a uh, Micarta, and well, they're going to be available actually in Micarta or Titanium, a really good price tag actually, 14C28N full flat ground blade, this one has a stone wash finish, really nice edge on it, super easy to manipulate thanks to a large cutout and plenty of access to that liner. Um, you also have the, uh, we've got the opening hole and then you also have a front flipper if you choose to do that and you can also do the fancy with the side of your finger. I don't know why, right? If you're a fidgety knife person, right? But really cool. This is not Qvist's first model. I think these are actually done by QSP is the OEM, but we have uh, ambidextrous uh, pocket clip mounting positions 
very easy to manipulate if you are left-handed as well. Just a really good overall EDC profile. Uh, as far as the paperwork I have here, which I folded up and tossed away without thinking about it, um, we actually have a starting price on this guy of $69 giggity in Micarta and 99 for titanium, which isn't bad. You don't need titanium if you're new and you're like, don't, don't, you know, don't let anybody work their wizardry on you and be like, you need titanium because titanium, titanium's cool, right? It's titanium. That's fine. Makes it a little heavier, right? Makes it feel really solid. 99 bucks for titanium and 14C28N, I don't think is a bad price, but $69 giggity for uh, micarta and 14C28N, I think is fantastic. This is a really, really good pocket knife. Moving on to absolutely the more expensive end of this, but my God, this knife is impressive. And listen, We Knives has done a good job with some things, and they've also done an incredibly boring job with a lot of things, right? When you look up We Knives, everything just looks like a folding steak knife, right? Or it's just bizarre. This knife I thought was spectacular, and it actually, I recently found out it won uh, an award at Blade Show, Texas. This is the We Ziphius Special Edition. It has, they call it an integral backspacer. It's actually a wraparound carbon fiber backspacer. Titanium handles. We have a nice little anodized milled line through here. And we have kind of a plasma anno pivot collar. Nice hand rub satin finished 20 CV blade. This is a button lock and it is to this day the most crisp, the most perfectly tuned button lock that I have ever experienced. This is a joy, nothing short of an absolute blissful joy to manipulate. It is perfect. The ergonomic lines are also perfect. I like the blade shape, some people won't. Handle profile here and the standard grip is wonderful. Choked up and braced against this little notch back here is also absolutely excellent. This will make an excellent uh, collector's piece, right? Uh, if you're a knife enthusiast, it'll also make an excellent user. Yes, if you're new to the knife world and you're like, people will never use a $350 knife, which is what this is. Believe it or not, yes, they do. Welcome to the knife world. You're about to be slapped in the face with a wet canoe paddle. The more you explore, the harder that slap is going to get. But yes, uh, if you decide to use this knife, absolutely. Um, it'll make an excellent user. I think the overall design, the overall aesthetic, the cool factor with the backspacer and just the general beautiful, I mean, I, you, there's no way. This is one of those things where it's you're going to have to handle it, right? People are going to say, oh, I've got the Malibu or I've got the whatever button lock. There's a million button locks out there right now. For some reason, the Ziphius feels different. There is absolutely no stick. This is the most crisp breakaway from a plunge lock that I have ever felt Super, just like swinging smooth action, right? Easily, uh, you can easily manipulate it, like doing the thumb flick or the reverse flick, whatever you want. The Ziphius is incredible. It is a limited run special edition, so when they actually do release, there's only so many of them, but they come in a few different styles. Expensive, definitely, but very cool. And then finally, I know you guys are like, of course, you saved the one, the one you're putting a thumbnail for the clickbait, you saved that for last? Oh, I'm sneaky. <laughs> Sneaky. Here's one that is not available anymore, but it is very cool, and I still want to share it with you in the hopes that Max Ace will release it again. The freaking Titanus. Oh my gosh, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. What is the point of this? Absolutely nothing, and Max Ace knows it. Max Ace knows exactly what they are doing with this and the other models that they have recently created that are over the top, absolutely insane. This is, I don't even know how to describe this, but it is lots of titanium with more titanium on top of the titanium. Uh, and then it has a, <laughs> a hulking M390 blade. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's just like a bunch of different knives come together, right? Sort of transformer style to create some hulking monstrosity of a pocket knife. Uh, the overall length of the Titanus is, that's only 11 and a quarter inches, right? Blade length is coming in at five inches, but also the blade stock is nearly a quarter inch thick. For some reason, and I say this because it's funny, they tuned the detent so perfectly. I mean, like for, oh, I missed it there, but um, using the thumb, <laughs> the thumb hot tub, right? 
uh, to deploy it is actually somewhat comfortable for the size of the knife. Believe it or not, you can actually, I'm gonna use the stud to reverse flick it. You can do that. You can also use the little hole there to reverse flick it or you wheel it out like a regular person or you can you know, actually use the thumb hole to flick out, which is insane. It runs on bearings. It has a two-tone blade with, I mean, the amount of work that's in the blade is ridiculous. That's the thing. These Max Ace knives are made in China, but the amount of material that is on them, this is actual Bowler M390 as well. It's not like it's Chinese M390. No, it's M390 from Bowler, right? That Max Ace used to create this knife. A lot of people get confused by that. They think that China is just manufacturing their own M390. No, it's actually M390. Um, lots of titanium, lots of materials. It's a very expensive thing to make, but it also has an absolutely ridiculous price tag at, brace yourselves, new people, $520. When they were available because people bought these things up lightning fast. <laughs> the demand for stuff like this is absolutely crazy. It's a cool knife. It's cool, right? That's all that really needed to be for this. I don't know that I agree with the price tag, but I think the people who actually own these things probably enjoy them, right? So I just wanted to bring it to your attention. I'll still link the original listing down below. Believe it or not, this is not the most expensive version of this knife. They actually had a Timascus version that was well over $800. So have fun exploring that. Um, let's go back over these. Once again, we have the Max Ace Titanus, which is not gonna fit on camera. We have the beautiful, very elegant Wii Ziphius. We have the Cuvist Invert, which once again will be available come June of this year. We have the Vosteed Grind, which actually should be available very soon. And then finally, the incredibly impressive and incredibly inexpensive Cold Steel Outdoorsman Light. That's going to be pretty much it for today's episode of Five Cool Knives. Like I said, I'll link any and all information about these models down in the description so you guys can check them out. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody. And have a great day.